Lily admits in chapter 1235 that she cannot take Duncan's position as a companion of Mrs. Lewis because she is aware of Duncan's unwillingness to go to social functions. She stresses that, despite their personal choices, individuals must uphold their social commitments. Duncan, who has been to many business events before, nods his head in agreement. Lily tells him that old Mr. Dawson is in charge of planning the celebration, which will take place at the Wheelspoon Hotel. In Wheelspoon's corporate world, the Dawsons occupy a recognized position, and even Zachary, Duncan's best buddy, has attended their parties in the past. So Duncan's qualms seem to vanish upon hearing the name. Duncan is reminded by Lily of his approaching meeting and waits for her to complete washing the food containers before entering the meeting space. In the meantime, Lily makes a sudden stop close to all you can eat and goes to a nearby store to ask who owns the diner. She is told that Liberty, the proprietor, is currently attending to personal problems in her hometown, as a result of which the diner is closed for the day. The individual compliments the meals at Liberty and the spotless condition of the business. Lily is taken aback by this realization, but keeps her cool and thanks the man before heading back to her car. She drives directly to the home of Mrs. Lewis rather than making another stop. The chapter examines the subject of social expectations and the concessions people have to make in order to uphold their duties. Although Duncan's initial reluctance to go to social gatherings is consistent with his straightforward personality, the Dawson's family's reputation affects his choice. Lily is also surprised to learn that Liberty is the owner of All You Can Eat restaurant, which motivates her to look into it further. Lily doesn't react and goes to the house of Mrs. Lewis even though the diner is closed for the day, maybe hinting at a big interaction or development that may be about to occur.